Well, hey, I'm Daryl Smith from Line 6, and I'm here with Reinhold Bogner today to give you a backstage tour of the Line 6 Bogner Spider Valve. So, uh, about two years ago, we started working together on uh, building this amp, and it is uh, half modeling, half valves. Of course, modeling amps um, provide the versatility, but, but there's nothing like a great valve section to provide uh, the performance and sort of uh, the feel of, of great vintage amps. And so we went to the best. We found Reinhold here in Los Angeles doing his thing. And uh, so tell us, Reinhold, a little bit about uh, how you approach this amplifier and uh, specifically, you know, the kind of components or different things that you chose to do to the things that give the SV, the spider valve, its, its feel and, and sort of tubiness. Well, the, the challenge is, of course, because since the modeling is such a uh, vast uh, and flexible kind of technology, it's uh, it's a challenge to make something on the tube band which is more like you know doesn't have so much flexibility to match. So you wanted to get like you know a great clean sound, high headroom. You wanted to get a very squishy AC30 sound out of it, and then maybe the metal mayhem right at the same time so but that was the biggest challenge to have a tube section that would kind of give you you know all that okay as real uh, and not too expensive of course exactly <laughs> at the price point where it's still affordable mm -hmm. so um uh we we did a lot of experimenting and we came up with uh, a fairly efficient design I would say. Um, there were a few key components we had to use and uh, we tried to source many different manufacturers. Um, we, we finally ended up with, for example, so still using some Bima caps as you see all the red stuff or the orange drops, you know, which is mm -hmm. an American made capacitor. And some very reliable Russian tubes. Yes. Um, which of course is a big issue for this amp, like reliability, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have that thing to break down. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, well, we did a lot of experimenting uh, with like different feedback circuits and uh, different preamp buffers of the power amp. And, uh, well, this is what we came up with basically, you know, like uh, some... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so walk us through the signal flow. The, the signals come out of the back end of the modeling section, which is sort of providing uh, the, the, you know, the preamp distortion gain and tone shaping right. and then it hits this pair of 12 x sevens and how do you get them set up well we look at the there's there's different gain structures and like the first preamp tube or the first two basically stages of preamp tubes will basically give you a slight compression like a slight knee bend in the in the uh, where you can uh, get a little more harmonics out of it mm -hmm. depending on how you hit it from the, the modeling section so if you want to have a clean sound we will hit it less hard right so if you get a very high headroom if you want to get more to saturate the sound we actually get an additional tube harmonic tr real tube harmonic uh, content okay. once we hit a little bit harder the first two stages and the second uh, the, the third and fourth stages just basically a phase where that's very that's pretty much straight straightforward I mean, that's that's known not too much magic going on in this part, you know. It's and then we loaded it with Sovtech 6L6 WXTs or something, is that what Yeah, I mean, I, we choose this, it's a military grade a 6L6, oh, and okay. I choose this tube. First of all, it gives you a, kind of a very good, like, overall, like, flexibility. It has a good, like, you know, bounce, has a good sag, mm -hmm. and nice harmonic contest. But number one reason, I think, would be the, uh, Reliability. This tube right. is definitely one of the most reliable tubes. If you run it at the right voltages, it's like I mean, it lasts forever. I mean, that's why military uses it in and uh, in tapes and stuff. Where it, well, I mean, not so much anymore, probably. <laughs> but I mean, it was definitely originally used in a lot of like uh, equipment of the military, and like it's just like it's a very like time-proven reliable tube. Very so, good.